And so what are we to do? It cannot be left. It cannot be left. And yet, our mechanisms are so corroded or so unused that we don't know what to do. Any accusation of the intelligence services is structured so it will never be heard. Or if it's heard, it's heard in a special secret court, the Investigatory Powers Tribunal, which nobody can ever go in. If you win, you don't know why. If you lose, you don't know why. And those men who are attempting to sue the government for complicity in their rendition and torture have been met with the government applying to the courts to have a special secret court. There isn't even certainty as to what our government understands by torture, the definition of torture. We don't even know what they think it is. They deny that they are in any way complicit. They deny that they knew Americans were using torture. And yet from 2002, the Americans have openly stated that they were using stress positions, sleep deprivation, hooding, loud noise, deprivation of food. We of all people should know since Ireland took the UK to Strasbourg in the 1970s for using precisely those techniques against Irishmen. The court prohibited their use and the UK undertook would never ever use those techniques again. And now it denies that it knew that they were torture. What lessons do we ever learn? Torture, the monitoring of torture since the close of the Cold War, has been something that the world has attempted to achieve. And monitoring and the eradication of torture depend in large part upon two factors. One is public knowledge of what happens and what is done. And the second is the punishment of those who do it. But yet, here we are with an inability ever to have sufficient evidence. It's denied to us when we know that one MI6 agent sent a message from Bagram back to base to say, I see what the Americans are doing. I think some of the things are not allowed. What am I meant to do? He got a telegram back saying they're not under our custody and control and we have no obligation to do anything. But yet we don't know what he saw. We aren't even allowed to be told what it was he was complaining of. When Craig Murray, who was the ambassador, British ambassador in Uzbekistan, in the same year, 2002, 
when he sent back a message to the Foreign Office to say, you're receiving information from here that comes from Islamic dissidents being boiled alive, literally boiled alive. What should I do? He got the message back, keep the information coming.